Beginning today, we're going to go into a little series of looking at Psalms. And uh, I would like to encourage you, if you're reading certain places in the scriptures, don't stop reading where you are. But it would be a really great thing for you to begin your day with this Psalm. I would encourage you to begin around Psalm 90. As you go from Psalm 90 through the 150th Psalm, those Psalms specifically were part of the Israelite or Hebrew worship of God. They were songs, prayers, and liturgy of, of repeating words in worship of God. And so in them, you find so many challenges to praise God and all that he has done and all that he is. And so we will begin today in the Psalms in chapter 1, after I just told you to go from 90 through 150. But see, Psalm 1 introduces the Psalms as this context of book of praise to God in wisdom literature. So I just want to read the first two verses because it's awesome and a great challenge to us. Oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with sinners or join them with mockers. But they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. So a word of warning and challenge to us as the church, as believers, as those who follow God, that we don't stand around and participate in the conversations of the wicked. We don't jest with them. We don't joke with them. We stand out differently in our conversations, our conduct, those that we hang with. And we don't participate in the brokenness of the world in conversation. And the way that we do that, we've been preaching about this in the last few Sundays and looking at God's word, and then we see it here again. He says, the way that we do this is we meditate on God's word day and night. So we keep God's word alive in us. We read it. We think about it. We meditate on it. We have conversations about it. And by doing so, we're much more sharp in understanding the environment we're in, the conversations that are going on around us, the conversations that we are involved in. And therefore, as the church, we meditate on God's word and we stay in that context, no matter what's going on around us. So let's stay in the environment of God's word. And let's be the church. Hey, thanks so much for checking out today's Be the Church devotional. No matter where you are in life, we hope these daily devotionals will help you to be inspired, encouraged, and remind you that you are part of the CFF family. If you enjoy the ministry of our church, you can help us get messages like these out to your friends and family by sharing them to your social media. You can also help us financially by visiting our website, cfftucson.com slash give. That page will give you steps on how to give via PayPal, how to text to give, or how to give through the app. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Now go and be the church.